Hepatitis for me uh, starts with my relationship with my father. He died recently of complications that lit, uh, stemming from living with uh, hepatitis C for a very long time that eventually turned into a chronic issue. So um, he didn't know that he had it. Uh, and also the, the filter, the, the health, fi health filter that he was a part of really kind of didn't l lead him to be able to pay the, uh, or give the importance that was necessary attached to his, uh, his condition. And, um, but he must have lived with hepatitis C for at least, uh, at least over 20 years. So hepatitis in general is a big, is a big issue and I'm, I'm learning myself. And as a result of my father being sick, I checked myself too. And so it's just a matter of, uh, of education, uh, of uh, health consciousness. But that's what led me to it. It led me because of uh, seeing my father kind of suffer through what he, I knew that he had been living with for a long time. And I, I didn't know exactly the severity of this problem. And he didn't know. It is closer than you think because it's a silent killer. And uh, like in my father's case, for many years you live with it, you have no idea that you have it. No symptoms. You can lead a, what you think is a relatively healthy, normal life. But, uh, but it's killing you inside, you know, depending on the severity of, of your condition, uh, on your lifestyle. At the end of the day, it's still, a, it's still a new issue. It's something that we don't know enough about. So, but it's a big problem because a lot of people live with it and they don't know anything about it. It's a silent killer. You can live with it it's, and just be a part of you and unless you're, you go get checked, and to, to think, if you think you're a risk, or you, if we're, and maybe if, if you're not a risk or you don't think you're a risk, but maybe you know somebody that's at risk, to let them know, to see, hey, listen, you know, just take yourself out just to make sure. Go to our website. P-A-H-O dot org slash hepatitis. Because that's the only way you're going to know exactly what hepatitis means, what it's all about. It's a very common type of infection, given all the different strains of it. So there's a lot of different ways to get it. Find out all the information how you get it. You're right. By eating the wrong type of foods. Depending on, there's so many different ways to get it. The problem is that whether or, whether or not you know how you got it, how you got it, the fact that if you think you might be a risk or you know somebody that might be a risk, it's for them to get the checked out. If, if you get informed and you don't have it, at least you know, at least you have a window of, of knowledge of, okay, look, you know what, this is what I need to know to stay away from certain things, right? So I can be, you know, have a preventative lifestyle. Uh, communication is everything. And the way that we communicate is, is so important. And uh, so if, if, you're, if you don't want to go to your doctor quite yet and you want to know more about what you think you might have or might not have, that's the reason you want to inform yourself.